Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a foolproof recipe for sausage gravy. It is one of my favorite breakfast and brunch items. So in my skillet, I have one pound of breakfast sausage going, and I prefer Jimmy Dean hot sausage. That is my favorite sausage. And I've got my handy little meat chopper here. And I am just going to let this continue to brown and cook through. And then I will bring you back to show you next steps. So my sausage has thoroughly cooked and I don't drain any of the fat off. I keep all of that in. I've got my burner on a medium high heat. And what I'm going to do next is sprinkle two tablespoons of all-purpose flour all over the meat. Now, I prefer somewhat of a, like a looser gravy. I mean, it's not watery, but it's not super thick. If you want a thick, thick gravy, then use three tablespoons of flour. But like I said, I'm just using two, and I'm just sprinkling this all over the sausage. And then I'm going to give it a good stir. And I am going to let this cook for about five minutes. And so you don't have to continuously stir, but check on it every now and then, but do let it go ahead and cook for five minutes. So my meat has been cooking for about five minutes and I neglected to mention the reason why you need to let the flour cook down because you don't want it to be floury. Um, there's nothing worse than a real than a gravy that tastes like flour. So this allows that flour to cook out of the meat. So now what I'm going to do is add in three cups of half and half. Now some people use milk, but I prefer a richer gravy. So I'm just going to add this in slowly. I would not advise using heavy whipping cream. I, I think that'll be a little bit too thick. Um, and if you're not familiar, half and half is just half heavy whipping cream and half milk. So I like that combo. So I have it all in my pan. And now I'm just gonna let this, it's still on a medium high heat. I'm just gonna let this cook until it starts to thicken. And I will show you what it looks like when it gets to that point. So this simmered for about 10 minutes and now I'm just going to add a smidge of salt and black pepper. A smidge of salt because the sausage is salty enough but it needs just a little bit and black pepper. I would add more. Howard's <clears throat> Howard is not a huge fan of uh, black pepper. Let me pour that in. Stir it up. And then I'm just gonna let this sit just for a few minutes to let it thicken up. And then I will get everything plated and show you the finished product. All right guys, so here are the biscuits and gravy all plated up. I just used some frozen Pillsbury biscuits, but of course use whatever biscuits you prefer. Now the reason mine, my gravy is a little bit reddish in tint or a little bit brownish is because I did use a hot sausage, which has um, red pepper in it. So if you use just a regular sausage, your gravy will be more white in color. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's really simple and easy and delicious to make. If you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.